Hi, my name is Ray and I'm a first aid trainer with St John WA. Today I'll be showing you how easy it is to use a defibrillator when performing CPR. If a patient is suffering from a sudden cardiac arrest, their chance of survival decreases by 10% with each minute that passes. However, if you get to that patient quickly with a defib, their chance of survival increases significantly. This is why it is crucial that we know how to perform CPR and use a defibrillator. It's a device that analyzes the patient's heart rhythm. If it detects the casualty's heart is in an abnormal rhythm, it will deliver an electrical charge through the heart to try to restore it back to its natural rhythm. If you're responding to a medical emergency and there is a defib nearby, please use it. It's easy to use and it could help save a life. Should you come across somebody who is unresponsive, it's important that you follow the St John Doctor's ABCD Action Plan. Once 000 has been called, the call taker may advise you if there is a defib nearby. If the defib has been registered on the community first responder system, a first responder will be contacted and deployed to assist you or you'll be advised where the nearest defib is located so it can be retrieved by a bystander. In the event there is no defib available, please continue to follow the St John Doctor's ABCD Action Plan. Continue to perform CPR if the patient is still unresponsive and not breathing normally. If you've got the defib, all you have to do is turn it on and listen to the voice prompts as the device will instruct you on how to use it. Pull red handle to reveal pads. Look at pictures on pads. Apply pads to bare skin exactly as shown in the pictures. Press pads firmly. Do not touch patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Everyone clear. Press flashing button. Shock delivered. Provide chest compressions to the beat. The heel of one hand should be in center of chest. The other hand should be on top of first hand. Push down hard at least five centimeters. Provide two breaths. One. Two. Resume chest compressions. Do not perform CPR on a table. Ensure the patient is lying flat on their back on a firm, flat surface. Continue CPR until the paramedics arrive. Remember, there is no risk to you when using the defib. It cannot shock you and will not shock the patient unless absolutely necessary. It's that easy. Remember, it's better to give it a go than do nothing at all. We're here to help. So always make sure you call 000 in the event of a first aid emergency. If you want to know where your nearest defibrillator is, make sure to download the First Responder app on the Apple App Store or Android Play Store. You can also use the app to call 000 as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>